So why isn't this bigger? And why haven't we counseled Kenya Duke and Gary Owens? I shouldn't even have to be the only person making a damn video about this. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. Y'all have got to excuse me. My voice is a little bit, <laughs> you know, a little bit under the weather and everything. So, I seen this video that a, a Prince T'Challa sent me in my email. And when I seen the video, I was like, well, hey, you know, let me hurry up and jump on this because I'm sure everybody else has gotten on it. This video that I'm about to show you guys of Kenya Dukes and a washed up ass weak comedian, Gary Owens, this took place maybe, I want to say about three years ago or so, okay? Now I've got a lot, of, I've got a few statements I want to make, just a few questions about it, but there are so many things that's wrong with this video, okay? And not only that, but am I the only person that's asking the question, why haven't both of these bitches, okay, the black bitch and the white bitch been counseled from this? Seriously, why am I just not hearing about this video? Why haven't this been circulating all over the news? Why haven't they been made to come out and give an apology? Especially her. Okay? Seriously, especially her. But I'm going to play the video for you guys, and I'm going to talk about it afterwards. Okay? Michael Blackson, I saw your little weak comeback where you said I smell like a wet dog. Well, my dog's wet. Okay, so let's get this straight. Let me explain to you who both of them, who both these people are. Okay, Kenya Duke is an entrepreneur and businesswoman. You probably never even heard of her as before she started bad winching for um, Gary Owens. Gary Owens, again, washed up comedian. Okay, he's one of them wanna be down white boys. You know how we accept anybody who we feel is cool is not cool enough or who does enough dumb stuff okay now i don't even know where to start at right here but i read a lot of the comments okay i read a lot of the comments when i went to this video which for some reason youtube still allows to be up and believe it or not a lot of the women because you know it was black women on there you had a few black men on there but you had mostly black women on there actually saying and i cannot i'm not making this up Go to the video. They're actually saying, well, why did he make her do that? He needs to apologize. I'm like, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Slow down. So don't get me wrong. Yeah, he needs to apologize, but he can't make her do nothing. Okay? He can't make a queen, which I'm going to stop even using that and being, um, being sarcastic because it's a disgrace to real queens. Okay? To call these clown ass black women who call themselves queens black women when doing shit like that but let me go ahead and say this for the record because i get tired of people's rebuttals being it's not all black women okay when i make these videos and i'm talking about black people white people or whoever it's not all black people or white people are all mexicans okay it's not all and you never hear me say it's all in any video so please, people, stop hollering about using the weak-ass rebuttal saying it's not all when you never heard me say it's all. If any of you guys can go back and find a time to when I say it's all blacks or all whites, send me a cash out. I send you $1,000 on the spot. If you can go back and see to where I said it is all of anybody, send me a cash out. Send me 
the video edit, okay, send me the video part, <laughs> you know, and send me your cash app. Now that we've got all that out of the way, I'm going to say this much right here. Sisters, y'all, y'all have got to do better, okay? Seriously, like, that's a prime example why a lot of us black men, a lot of us decent black men, okay, who don't have, who, who don't have the felonies up under our belt, you know, who work, okay, who ain't sniffing and smoking and drinking all the time, who are actually doing something with ourselves, who are actually wearing our pants up on our ass, okay? That's why a lot of us are going to white women, to Brazilian women, to Honduran women, because of disgraceful ass bitches like that, okay? Black bitches like that, okay? Yeah, I know. Oh, y'all gonna get fired up on that. But if she can sit there and call another black man, okay, the N-word several different times behind trying to please her white master, then of course I can call that black bitch a black bitch. <laughs> that black bitch, you know? And this goes for plenty of others. Listen here, people, I'm gonna tell you, I'm downright disgraced at what black women are doing nowadays, okay? You're making us black people look bad in the fucking Olympics, okay? Seriously, you're making us look bad in front of law enforcement? I mean, come on, sisters, y'all gotta do better than that. And no, again, it's not all, okay? But my point is, is this. That shit that they pulled, Gary Owens should have been counseled. He should have been made to give an apology. She should have been made to give an apology. I mean, just seriously, that was so distasteful and wrong. Seriously. But you know what, though? I can't say that it's unfamiliar with me because I worked around, uh, I worked at quite a few jobs. I've been quite a few places. I, you know, I've been to a couple of states. Everywhere I go, most of the time, most of the time, the black women, they act totally different toward and around the white men. They do. Seriously. They change their attitudes. They change their perspectives. Okay? I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> okay? If you think I'm lying, hey, go to any clerical jobs where you have black women plus white men. Okay? Their mannerism is a lot better. Okay? I guess they feel they have to kiss the white man's ass. Okay? To keep it going. I've seen this on almost every job I've been on where you have white women and black men. I've seen it on mostly every job I've been on. I'm not making this shit up. I have no reason to. Okay? And it's sad. You know, it's disgraceful. Because a lot of y'all black women, I'm talking to black women, I have a lot of y'all black women out there kissing white men's ass when they whip your asses in the streets when they pull you over. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, they have reasons to do that because you're showing your asses on the right ones then. But come on now. And let me reiterate. I don't care what black woman it has been when I've seen these actions, okay? I don't care whether she's been from the islands. I don't care whether she's been from another country. I don't care whether she's from this country, okay? Black women act a lot differently around and with white men than they do their own. Listen, let me tell y'all right now, okay? These white men don't give a damn about y'all. Seriously, and they have even less respect when they see you can't act the you can't conduct yourself the right way in your own community with your own men. So stop kissing their asses. Seriously. This bitch up, this bitch Kenya Dukes calling another brother, ninja, ninja, ninja. And then what makes it so bad, Gary Owens himself said, Well, gee, I wanna say it. I wanna say it. She should have checked him right there. Seriously. Black women, y'all have got to get it together. And the funniest part about it is that if that had have been a black man with a white woman on there doing that, but a white woman wouldn't, a white woman wouldn't do that because she got too much class and grace about herself. Unlike a lot of the black women today. Unlike a lot of the black women today. Unlike a lot of the black women today. Timothy Apollo. Okay? I said it. That white woman wouldn't have got on there. And if so, shut the fuck up about it. Send me the fucking video. That white woman wouldn't have not got on there and disgraced herself and her people by calling another white man the C word just to appease him. She wouldn't have. Matter of fact, guess what? We wouldn't have tolerated it, even if so. Okay? And like I say again, y'all can feel the fucking way y'all want to about this video, but I'm not lying, you know? Seriously, and it's sad. It's ridiculous. 
But again, like I said, and I reiterate, we can't even go out, and I've said this several different times, we can't even go out and date outside of the race without you talking trash about us, okay? Seriously, we can't even go out there and marry, do it the right way, outside of the race of black women without y'all trying to trash talk us and everything. Trust me, I've experienced it. <laughs> and you know that, that's funny because... You know, y'all good. Y'all get out there. You know, you black women, y'all are y'all are something, man. You know, y'all get out there and y'all deal with these white men, and you forget where you come from. You change your mannerism. You start bleaching your skin color and all this and that. You bitches are just just something else, man. Seriously. Look at Serena Williams. Okay, just start bleaching the skin. You're looking like a fucking clown. Look at Eve. You know. Eve has gotten out there, and Eve has changed her total persona, talking differently. Ain't calling herself the bulldog no more. Are y'all y'all fucking with me? But y'all hollering about queens and all this and this that stuff right there. Again, look at the way you girls, you ladies, are conducting y'all selves at the Olympics. I mean, this 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 behavior, this. This stuff is just atrocious. I'm going to be real with you. You know, and like I say, it, it bothers me not because y'all are doing it, because <laughs> I've seen this behavior. Like I say, I've worked around you. I've seen you kiss the white man's ass at jobs. Um, I've been in the streets and I've seen it. I see the way y'all, you know, hey. But what's bothering me is that people are going to look at our race and they're going to say, well, hey. Why you black men can't control your women? You know, that's what people are looking at the race at. But here's the thing about it. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get ready to cut this video short because I didn't mean for it to go this long. But that's been something that's been taken out of our hands, okay, by liberals. Seriously, that's, that's just that. So this stuff right now is just coming full circle with the Olympics and all. But that stuff that Kenya Duke pulled with Gary Owens, I've seen that all my life, okay? No matter what country women are from, like I just said, no matter what state, no matter what religion, okay? Peep out how these black women act and conduct themselves toward and around white men. Come back to this video after you finish shit talking and tell me I'm wrong, Okay? Well, hey, look here. This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. I give a fuck less about y'all's opinion, and I can't find a fuck to give about the way you feel about this video. Because if you're more mad at me for saying the stuff that I just said in this video versus this black court jester, okay, who we just in here calling you Negroes ninjas, okay, then this something is wrong in general. And you need to check the scrotums at the door, you know.